Hello and welcome in Dying Light 2 once again. Today I want to show you how to farm virals in a safe way for, for the mutation you need for... Yeah, they're the infected trophies. Uncommon. How to farm them efficiently, safe, during the day, during the night. So... I'm here in the dark hollow and it's a uh, morning but I've been here for some time and as you can see I spawned the encounter in the dark hollow in dark hollow there is only one encounter and there is like a hive uh, volatile and whenever the hive volatile sees you he starts screaming virals comes in as you can see, he's out there. He sees me. Yeah, virals are coming. And this is like super safe, look. Sorry, they're gonna scream a lot. I'm sorry for that. I actually might tune down the game a little bit because they're gonna scream a lot. So yeah. Okay, he saw me once again. Problem is that if, yeah, if these virals won't come down, they will go around. So what I created here is pretty much a dead zone for them. A volatile hive thingy calls them out. They're coming, I'm killing them. I, I have time between to heal if it's needed, replenish, like craft something. Loot. Yeah, there is more. Sometimes if they're not coming, you just go on a ladder. I use flashlight to drop them from a ladder and they fall on the face. You can stomp on them and just finish them off. Easy. Okay, is there anyone else? Yeah, there is. Like I said, sometimes they just need a little, a little bit of courage. Hello, I'm here. Yep. Again, it's a garrison. It's this this dark hollow I showed you before. Pretty much, it's it's gonna work in every dark hollow. But you need to find the one here that has a, you know, barricade from a wooden board. There is a couple of them I showed you before. And these qualify to be safe. So, all you need to do is spawn at the morning, around the morning, uh, this event, and not trigger it. Just run around, kill stuff, do stuff. Don't clear it. And this way, you'll have endless waves of virals 
which will give you the needed materials for crafting, which, yeah, the uncommon, as you can see, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed by bodies. Which I have already seventy seven. It's new game plus on the uh, on hard, so if you want to end it, you can just. Kill that uh, volatile high thingy. You need to watch out because sometimes Volatile can jump through the board and grab you. So you do need to watch out because that way he transfer himself to this section of a room and you have to kill him. <laughs> Is it enough to kill him? No! It's not. And another victim. Hello. And Sometimes they just fall. That's why I use flashlight to drop them from a ladder. Look how many virals is out there already. Hello. So this is endless farm if you need it. And it's quite efficient, safe. So I'll kill these two. So yeah, it takes some time, but hey, this way you'll get your materials fast enough or stuff you need to craft and you won't have to like struggle to get it. Like I said, new game plus, I'm not really powerful. Uh, these are my, you know, paragons or whatever you call it. And this my, this is my weapons I'm using pretty much. Obviously Bruiser, I have better weapons, I just don't want to use them on the garbage like virals, so... It seems that after killing that the Volatile... Yeah, it seems that you have to keep Volatile alive to be more efficient, it seems, because, yeah, all you had to do was just stand here and the one was screaming, so it's connected to Volatiles. So keep Volatile alive, this way you'll have buddies to come. I hope it was eye-opening, helpful.
I'm not saying it's the best. God, no. This is definitely not the best spot. But it's the safest so far I found. Thank you for watching. Till the next time, take care. And enjoy killing zombies. Bye bye.